All right, so a lot of lot of goings on, a lot of going ons, and just it, a lot a lot of what's going on is related to the physical trips, the nature of the trips. Uh, and I'm sorry, I'm still interrupting you, but can you introduce yourself? How do you want to be presented on the on the record? Um, myself, I'm I'm Justin Ibarra, JC. Um, oh, wonderful. And, and just uh, have recently been uh, introduced to the Human Colony family, probably about three months ago, four months ago. I'd say probably more like three, huh? Yeah, like maybe three. And just I, I had a I had a background with uh, massage therapy, Eastern um, medicine, and Reiki treatment and healing. I did that when I was around 22, 23. Um, I've had some injuries, broken my back twice, compression fractures, whatnot, and had a have had an interesting journey. And throughout my whole life, just really strong intuition, um, confident in my abilities, and um, with my athletics, I've always had a really close relationship with my with my body and learning how it works and and whatnot, and just feeling the need for knowledge and wanting to go back to school, but just not having not having the desire to go to the schools that we have now. And I had stumbled upon uh, the Spirit Science YouTube videos, and there I had seen the um, one on channeling with animals, and I began doing that actually with my girlfriend's dog because I have a really strong connection with all dogs, and started getting communications, um, visual images, and so I proceeded to see what Daryl Anka and, and, and his message was about and just really resonated with the message of Bashar and 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 I just started looking around and I stumbled upon um, Jamie and channels Eric I believe you had her on a couple weeks ago and it was through that that I stumbled upon Jim's um, Jim and yourself and then that just just something just really drew me in and sucked me into um, the channelings um, First, it was uh, Jesus, the Christ consciousness, when he came through, and Buddha, and those are the ones that just really resonated with me. As just this is, this is, from my perception, this is going on. This is real, and just things started to make more sense to me, and I just felt like I was being guided um, by my intuition, and I just started reading and reading and just opening my mind and opening myself and as I continue to follow these intuitive guidances um, I started doing more meditations and my girlfriend started to ask me well you know I'm unemployed and and I'm not able to work due to seizures and the back issues and it just led to um, being at home all day just meditating listening to binaural beats and as I did this, just no expectations other than just to pass some time away. And as I started to hear about the different channelers and channelings and just listening, I just, I didn't do it to, to like try to, I didn't try to do anything. That's the first thing. I didn't try to do anything. I just stayed open-minded and followed my feelings. And just, they're my feelings, my perception of my feelings. So, we all know when we have a very profound feeling of an experience, you can't. It's hard to deny or have it invalidated. If it's if if you had to happen, it's your experience. It was physical in nature, you know. And that's just my idea in this moment, um, re-experiencing some of my experiences. Um, my girlfriend and I had a very very profound experience where. She was having a lot of psychic attacks, and she had to. She ended up being laid off of work because it was causing a lot of uh, just health issues, if you will. She would come home, just a lot of psychic attacks, um, absorbing energies, and so this is what I felt, you know, was helping excite me and compel me into like I want to be able to channel or protect her from energies, if you if you will, until she's able to herself. 
and mm -hmm. since she has got laid off or both laid off, her mom's is a very, very, very grateful and appreciative because she's allowing us to stay with her. And instead of just being stuck and you know negatively charged, if you will, we just well, it's our choice to you know make a difference. And so we just started opening up just with our feelings and our experiences and one day she got off work it was like one of her last days um, before she was laid off and just suffering really bad attacks and I just felt compelled to start performing Reiki on, on, on first they told me to gather a chakra with my left hand on my third chakra and to put my right hand on, on, on her heart on the back of her heart and as she started to receive energy she started to sit, sit up and you know open her heart and that's when they said okay put your hands like creating a vortex if you will and as I was just focusing the energies I was feeling I could see the this vibration in, in the mirror it was a visible vibration and instead of just getting focused on it and stuck on it I closed my eyes and just put my head on her shoulder and focused my energy on her heart just with nothing but pure unconditional love and grounding and acceptance. <laughs> and I could feel her energies just really getting excited. Um, I could feel entities, I could feel a manifestation powerfully, but I didn't need to see them because I felt it. I, I had the feeling of knowing, you know, and undeniable. And it was confirmed by my, my girlfriend because she started saying something and I just I have started feeling the perception of a voice explaining just explain we are here unconditionally for love and protection and she started to see physical manifestations <laughs> I went to I ended up going to visit my father and family in Texas a couple weeks later I told my father about the experience. I told my mother. <clears throat> we had shared it with a couple other people. No one invalidated it. They all just were completely just, wow, just, we're happy for you. And so we followed, we followed the feelings. And <clears throat> when I was in Texas recently here, my cousin was in a bad car accident, um, taken to the same hospital, which another cousin was taken to where he died two years ago on Christmas Eve. <clears throat> so instead of just dwell on it, I use it as a positively charged event. I was keeping in contact with Jim and uh, Jim had offered a session and also offered to send or send um, a message out for help for channeling energies for Reiki. And he had a skull fracture, he had a drainage in, Shouldn't have walked out of there, but he ended up walking out a week later. So I'm at home and just kind of burning off energy. And that's when uh, Lakesh had come through. And that was the start of it. And just... A lot of stuff has happened since then. Um, all positive. It's uh,
Greetings. Hello. Hello. Welcome. It is a pleasure to speak with you. Pleasure mine. You may introduce yourself. You're on record. You'll be watched by about 300 people. Name is not important in the moment. All right. <laughs> Messages are awaiting everyone. Gentle suggestions and the invitations and offers for the hearts needs and or strong desires yes physical trips are occurring again physical trips are occurring the nature of these trips and the idea of these trips have come through in the form of energetic feelings of knowingness followed as well by confirmations not only through the vessel and outside sources but by the universe as well be open to these messages is the gentle suggestion the allowance of the permission slips the power lies in the individuals. The experiences will happen when the universe feels it is needed or when the intent is filled with such excitement that the energies necessary for the manifestation <clears throat> will be channeled through the individual when allowed to let flow, the supportive energies will lend what is needed for these heart's desires. The idea of the nature of the physicality of the trips and this perception through this, this vessel is of the multi-location theory that has been slightly discussed by Max and the vessel. The human body's cells contain photo cells, light cells. These light cells carry energy in the form of a DNA light code. Again, the understanding of this vessel's perception. Mm -hmm. The implants in the body act as a transmitter of these DNA light codes. They assist in the direction of these DNA light codes to desired locations. The light code when at di desired location is a holographic form but when the intent and the excitement and the invitation and the allowance of the offer and the knowingness that this holographic image is not necessarily a holographic image it is a physical image which is able to transmit the feelings of the physicality of the trips. The implant 
acts as the receiver of the information to transfer the feelings throughout the body to allow oneself to build upon so as to build the remembrance, the allowance of the remembrance. Again, the remembrance allows in one's strength of conviction of knowingness. The vessel has had confirmations and spoke with the TREB entity not only through conscious integration, which has been confirmed through the TREB entity, as well as the nature of our trips to the human colonies, as well as other aspects of higher self throughout the fabric of the universe. These ideas are just ideas to not be focused on just the gentle suggestion. These are meant as ideas to spark the energies necessary for the exploration of relatable or resonant ideas to accomplish the physicality of these trips. Um, I understand, I appreciate the, the ideas. I understand that, yes, excitement on our part is very important to manifest that better. Excuse, was this a question or a statement? I just confirmed that I understand the main idea, that we have to be excited and our energies would feed the manifestation. Yes. The idea sprang from the confirmed trip to the crystal room. The nature of this trip, as the vessel laid in bed with a Chinese fluorite crystal on his third eye, listening to a quantum gateway by neural beat on YouTube. He felt his light body projected into another body. He felt another body in another place. As confirmation of this trip, he felt the being known as James Charles. James, in the dream state, began being channeled by the vessel as the vessel was in the crystal room with Jim, the entity known as Gabriel, as well as Takur. During this trip, the vessel was in a meditative state, a wakeful meditative state, so as to be able to experience the physicality of the trip and receive the feelings and knowingness to explore the ideas that came from these feelings. As these feelings were explored and created more ideas and, a, and more energies of knowingness, more of the remembrance of the experience poured into the physical body and mind and recorded in the fourth chakra. Interesting. Um, one thing I wanted to ask, if you could move, uh, if you could move Justin a little bit farther from the camera, just with a chair, so we can see his eyes. Wonderful. That's good enough. A little bit closer. That's good enough. Perfect. All right. Uh, I invite questions from the audience. 
Uh, we yes. don't know who we speak to, but uh, you know we have now several people online, and uh, uh, the topic is their manifestation of physical visits. How to remember them? How to make them physical? How many times have Justin been to the crystal room? The perception of the vessel is that of having a physical body at the colonies at all times. There is not a traveling the way as he perceives. He perceives as having a aspect of self or selves, openness to more than one self at the colony. So, the physical human body takes some trips, the astral body takes many trips, other aspects of self are seen, are felt and perceived as there at the colonies at all times. I just wonder, uh, I think Justin described uh, that he felt that he was at the same, at many places at the same time. It's, I think it's called multilocation. Is it really what is happening? Yes. Um, the idea that you feel is the difficulty that lies in the bi-location, multi-location. It is in the openness, in the allowance, in allowing oneself to feel the knowingness of being in multiple places at once while placing most of the consciousness in the now moment. Mm -hmm. When one is able to go into the heart space, the center of one's universe, you are able to explore these other aspects of consciousness. I think you understand. And all of these feelings into oneself. And since they are the feelings of the all and the one, the one and the all, The allowance and explorance comes from the power of the individual. Is this being understood or relatable or somewhat resonant? This is being felt in the moment. I understand. Yes, I do understand. I would invite the audience to participate more. I understand the message. Yes, thank you very much. Yes, I understand. I um, I did not know that I was together with a cur in the crystal room. Thank you for the information about that. Much gratitude and appreciation to all of the human colony white light family. More connections are needed for more feelings of knowingness for more of the human colony family. We ourselves are in a position to be able to help in any way, shape, or form. Any way the vessel may be of assistance. Um, I wanted to comment. My, my focus, I just met Justin a few minutes ago over, um, over the uh, internet. And um, first thing I noticed that his uh, health and finances are in poor shape. Uh, he mentioned seizures. Uh, can you comment on anything about his health and uh, possibly finances? All needs are truly taken care of. 
the only needs that are truly needed are to make these connections. And as these connections are made, heartfelt energies are transferred. And this, in, of, in and of itself, is a gift. If people feel moved or compelled to help in other manners, we are open to the offers. But do not feel a need to help. So your comment is right now is very general, basically. Don't worry about Justin's... You suggest to you say to me, don't worry about Justin's health and don't worry about his material needs. It's all being taken care of. The physical health is optimal. Hmm. Food needs and the shelter needs are more than optimal. The hmm. only need that is being felt by the universe in this moment for this vessel is just slight monetary help. Not much slight in the moment. So a uh, normal way of thinking would be the, for him to find a job and for his girlfriend to find a job. Do you have any opinion whether they should try that or just uh, stay where they are and hope that people will help? This is a part of the internship, if you will. This is how it is perceived. You mean he has to make his own choices? That's the idea? In the moment, with the information, he is using the information to follow his excitements. Uh -huh, uh -huh. What is needed is the monetary abundance, yes, to follow the spiritual journey of enlightenment, ascension, and transcension. Yes. But this is not a need that stems from selfishness. It is a need that comes from selflessness. Yes. It truly comes from a place of needing to grow spiritually and gain enlightenment from the contact. Um, as well as able to expand his abilities to love unconditionally, accept unconditionally, forgive unconditionally, be infinitely patient, and gain the infinite understanding and wisdoms that come from the love light like love, as well as understandings of how to raise one's vibration through negatively charged aspects of life and how to comfortably raise this vibration so as to live in the light and once living in the light use the experiences as energies to transmute into positive experience positively charged experiences. This is not a cry for help for the self. This is just coming from the pure need of needing to help others in order to help oneself. Yes, of course, I understand. Yes, it's important to continue and um Money, a little bit of money would help Justin to help others, yes. Uh, uh, we got a message that Jim and I should join with Justin, and that happened. Jim just joined three minutes ago. So, Jim, uh, Justin is channeling uh, someone who didn't introduce themselves, but the topic is that excitement uh, would feed the energies towards manifestation of physical visits to the colonies. So the more we are excited, the more uh, it will manifest. And now we're discussing uh, how Justin can be helped to help others. 
Uh, Jim, if you want to speak, you can unmute yourself. I didn't think I can unmute you. Unmute you. Hold on. Yes. It won't unmute. Uh, yeah, I just we click, but Jim, you I can hear you. You're fine. Oh, you can hear me now. Yes. Okay. It would. It still says it's muted, but um, yes, we all actually we all have needs so that we can help other people. So, and those needs are very important because they they we draw what we need to ourselves. And sometimes that takes a little time because what we had worked up before in our our cycle it has not come around yet. Does that make for you? We build our nows right right away and then as each now comes it has to stay positive for the cycle to continue. So sometimes we don't get exactly what we need when we need it until the cycle of nows is turned around and and uh, come back to us. So I am now experiencing what it is to receive the nows um, that from the past many many weeks ago. So does that make sense to you? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Jason is now away. Uh, some someone else in his body he's trans channeling. We are speaking to okay. someone else. I see. All right. Who are we speaking to? Uh, we don't know. They didn't review themselves. I see. Uh, does anybody have any more comments on that? I'm not sure. I think I came in a little late on that conversation to probably be give an accurate an answer. Jim, so. Jim, you are now in the form of uh, you know a physical being, uh, and you know you are in the audience, and Justin is channeling. Okay. So you try to you know come with a question which is valuable for everybody. Okay. I will. I will be quiet for the moment. <laughs> No, no, just, you know, participate, uh, you know, just learn the other side. You are now the, the audience. Can you hear me? <laughs> Hello, yes. Sarah. Hello. Hi. I think um, Jim's statement was appropriate. Of course. And um, I had a question uh, similar but different, not, not about Justin's health, but about bringing in energies, um, uh, Entities that is um, that will that are aspects of ourselves. I had a question about kind of um, under the awareness that they are us and having them come out instead of feeling feeling blocked somehow. I don't, I don't know what the word is. Um, who, who are you the, asking um, that question? Just a suggestion and an invitation to the gentle suggestion. Allow oneself to feel rather than think in relations to this idea. You know your feelings, correct? Yes. You know your emotions, correct? Yes. Express them in complete knowingness in the simplest manners. Just a gentle suggestion and an invitation and an offer and allowance for oneself. Yes. Allow oneself to breathe. release what's not needed. I also wanted to ask about um, you know, how long Justin can channel. Um, can you give us some reference? How can we refer to you? Uh, we, we used to say at least a name or a nickname. 
this is the integrated higher self and physical self, the perception of the vessel of the integration, the name given JC. So it's integrated JC? Yes. Hello, JC. So um, it is the first time I see Justin channeling. So he's about half an hour into channeling. Would you feel uh, appropriate time when it's time to leave and uh, not to overtax his body? I can trust that to you. This is of no concern. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. If the connection breaks, it breaks. All right. Thank you. What has been needed to be shared as experience and ideas with yourself and Jim has been sufficiently shared and now the energies have been sent out. Yes. Caroline, do you have anything to say? Uh, that's JC integrated higher self and physical body. JC's. The topic is that, oh, there are many, many topics now, but the main topic is that excitement will help manifest physical visits. May I ask a question? Yay. Um, I wanted to ask uh, integrated JC if his higher self and all of our higher selves are connected to the oversoul. And if we are connected to the Oversoul in a direct way, how can we draw on that information from the, the community of Oversouls? With the center of one's universe, the center of one's universe that resides in the heart chakra. Yes. The heart chakra is connected to the Oversoul? It assists with the connection as this vessel perceives. I see. Thank you. It is felt as a pillar of light that connects from the center of earth that rises through the body as, it, as the earth energy and the universal energies are mixed with our energies in the heart space. It acts as a obelisk, if you will, and as the light shines through the crown chakra and the higher self jewel that sits upon the crown chakra in the integrated fashion, in this perception of this vessel. This assists in the connection with the Oversouls as well as with Source. So what I'm hearing is that the crown and the heart join together to access the Oversoul and that information is helped by the uh, higher self. The feeling we are perceiving is this is a relatable and resonant way of understanding for yourself, Brother Jim. Yes. Then, yes, this is absolutely a yes for yourself. Thank you. Thank you. So we have several people join. We have now Caroline, Hayan, um, uh, J uh, Pegasus, Sarah, Sean, and Slavic. Anybody has any questions? Now we know the name. It's Integrated Higher Self and Physical Body of JC. I'll come with my question and you jump whenever you want. So, uh, JC, I, I'm kind of in crossroads. Uh, I'm so much of uh, focus now on my mainstream identity that I kind of, uh, you know, that's my higher excitement at the moment. And I don't meditate as much, I don't do Reiki as much even. 
I do meditate, I do Reiki, but not as much as I did before. Do you perceive that it is appropriate? Do I do any mistakes by uh, not focusing on my uh, other side, on my uh, transdimensional friends at the moment, and just focusing on what is exciting in physical life? The answer being perceived in this moment is a meeting of the answer of yes, you are following your highest excitement. This is just our perception. And that it is truly okay. It is truly fine what you are doing as your highest excitement in the moments. Wonderful, thank you. That was my understanding too. And a lot of poetry come with that. So I don't think I completely ignore my higher part. I just uh, just goes in a different form. I'm creative just in a different way at this moment. Any more questions, people? Yes, um, I have a question. I've been feeling a new energy and it's been shaking my head up and down. And um, one of the ladies I met this weekend said it was angelic. I was wondering if you can confirm that. The feeling that is being perceived by this vessel is the feeling that we feel as familiar as yes. That was a yes? The feeling we are perceiving is the feeling of yes. Oh, okay, thank you. And um, it was the lady who mentioned it was angelic said that as we were driving from Michigan to New York, um, somehow we were helping the change of Gaia from 3D to 4D. Is that correct? Again, the feeling of this is perceived as a resounding yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we must go very shortly. Is there a quick question that will help the entirety of the Hukulo family that you're feeling? I have a question, but I would first ask people if you have anything else. Please go ahead. Yes. Anybody? All right. So my question is, um, uh, oh, Hayan, go ahead. I cannot hear you. You are muted. Go ahead and mute yourself. Hayan. I don't know. Hayan. All right. I will go with my question first, and Hayan will come in a second. So my question is, um, languages and poetry and poetic blessings, do you, can you do any of that? Speak different galactic languages or say uh, a poem or give us a, a blessing? Just a gentle suggestion and an invitation and offer. If one allows oneself to focus on this moment, on unconditional love for themselves, for the universe, for Gaia, and our white light family, allow and open to this blessing that is being sent in energetic form. Much gratitude much appreciation, and infinite, unconditional, light, love, love, light. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We love you. Much love to everyone as well. Thank you.
Yeah, let me sign off here. Hey guys. Hey there. Hi Thank Justin. You. Thank hey, you so sir. much. I don't know where you guys. Hey, um, I'm didn't realize what time it is. I gotta go run a quick errand with Alexandria. I can be back. I'll be back in like 30 minutes, 40 minutes. If you guys wanna come up with some questions and explore, you know, explore the feelings and energies related to these ideas, and yeah. Very good. Sound good? Sounds great. Thank you so much, everyone. Seriously, I am infinitely gr gr grateful, infinitely appreciative, and truly I have infinite, unconditional love for everyone of our human colony family, universe, and Gaia. This is so much fun and has been an amazing experience just being able to share with you guys and having you guys share with me. Thank you. All right. I'll see you guys a little later. See you later. Bye-bye. Guys. Oh, that was great. Love that. Yes, we can hear you, Hayan. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Yes, Max, Hello. it's great to see you here. Uh, nice to see you. I will leave in a few minutes. It's time for my meditation, past due. The life is sort of nice, but um, too many choices, and I'm just tired. I'm just tired. <laughs> That's great. You're just enjoying yourself. Uh, is, did I say that? <laughs> yeah, you're no, no. Yourself. <laughs> I, I cooked a new, I invented a new salad dressing. So you mix uh, one half of mayonnaise, like a big tablespoon of mayonnaise, Heleman's Real. Uh, one spoon, tablespoon, same amount of hummus. Um, about quarter cup of water. Uh, a lot of curry, like curry powder, Indian curry, or Mediterranean curry. Uh, I would say quarter, tea, quarter teaspoon or half teaspoon, and then uh, black pepper. Mm -hmm. And more salt than usual, it has to be salty. And mix really well, and pour over the salad, and mix really well. And it is amazing, the hummus makes the whole difference, and it mixes really well with curry. And mayonnaise also helps. It's happiness, purified happiness, very spiritual. <laughs> and not very fat, so it's not that, that much of calories. It's just more spice, it's just a way of taking hummus and spices with the salad together. It's something I never tried, but it feels really good. Oh, that's great. You're cooking. <laughs> all, the time, all every day, yes. <laughs> that's I can discuss cooking all the time. I think even who wanted to do spiritual cooking and healing, uh, food healing, you know, webinar, but I sort of delay that. That's okay. What do you cook? Oh, me? Oh, no, I eat. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a great synergy. <laughs> <laughs> and there's your answer. <laughs> All right. Um, I, 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 I guess I will leave. Uh, it was nice. Uh, it's on, all on record. You can go back and watch. Basically, the message was... You know, we are still on record. The message was that... I repeated it several times, but um, yeah, I don't know. Manifesting is up to us. It's yes. up, you know. It's all, you know, in the spirit world, in the dimensional things. It's all already laid out, and it's up to us to believe that it is real. And when you believe to do that, it is real. When you focus on that, it kind of manifests by itself. It's law of attraction, in it, you know, in its fullness. Its fullness. Yes. And it's very easy to manifest negative things. Oh, just so easy. Focus on negativity and you get it. Focus on positivity and you <laughs> get it, yes. You know, it's so easy to be followed by men in black. You know, can't imagine. Don't you know. worry about them. <laughs> but it's easy. I mean, you, you, you have an illustration. It's so easy to be, you know, get in trouble with, you know, whatever. I got in trouble. I don't know how I attracted it, but I got in trouble with... Uh, how do you call it? 
you know, driver license license plates on the car. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I attracted it, but uh, and again, the way out was miraculous as well. But uh, it's kind of followed my for the, me for the last oh more than a year now. It's not you know not only that I did anything wrong. It was just some you know weird circumstances and it goes like sways left and then sways right and some days it's all fixed and other day it's all again. Psh. Yeah. So I don't know. Okay. So law of attraction and action. Yes. Mm hmm. So uh, um, do you want to stop the live feed, or do you want to continue? Uh, yes, I guess we we give a blessing and we wrap up and then mm -hmm. let's do a blessing. Can you do a blessing? I uh, yes, it may come out in half in half or. <laughs> How about I start and you continue as we usually do? Yes. All right. So what's the payback part of today? Oh, today is a historic day actually. And I will tell you later, maybe, or maybe I will keep it secret, but it is a historic day. August, is it September already? Oh, yeah. Yesterday was the funniest, funniest, funniest thing. And it was partly spiritual and par partly just, you know, 3D. So my kid, my biggest one from the house right now, he's started sixth grade. He called from school that he missed his bus. First day in school. And I was elsewhere fixing the car and waiting, and I said, I will rush to you as, as soon as I can. So I rushed to him. I come to school, and I can't find him. And in the main office, it's a mess. First day of school, lots of kids, uh, principal, teachers, organizers, running around. Nobody pays attention to me. So I waited, 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 and waited. Finally, they, they sent me to some other place. And another place, the same thing. Lots of kids, lots of organizers. I waited and waited and waited. Finally, all kids left from the school. And organizers finally pay attention to me. And they can't find my kid. And he called me several times. He's fine, but you know they can't find him. And I'm getting frustrated. It's like an hour of me waiting. And they're getting sort of nervous. Where is the child? Finally, they pay attention. And when they paid attention, they realized he moved from elementary school to middle school. I'm in the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> and they knew his name. They knew the name of his teacher. The teacher wasn't there, so things oh almost matched. Right? <laughs> I, I'm on the phone with my wife, and my wife also forgot here that he got a new school. <laughs> All right. So my blessing to you would be, ah, create the reality that you like. And when you feel that reality is not right, wake up. <laughs> That's perfect, Max. Perfect. Oh, right. <laughs> your turn.
Namaste. Namaste. Thank you. Do you have a translation? <laughs> I cried, I cried, I was like liquids, you know, poured out, out of me. Oh, wow. I cried, I don't know, I'm dissolved. <laughs> I wanted to drum to help you, but um, I have a drum around, but um, I don't know, I didn't want to interrupt, and I didn't know, actually, Google Hangouts don't allow people to sing together. It's either one or another. It's not neither uh, together. So, mm -hmm. not, so I couldn't draw me actually. Um, Hayan Pegasus, thank you for and uh, Sean, thank you for being with us. We are stopping the broadcast right now. Bye everybody. Goodbye. Love you all.